Elden Ring has seven different status effects, with three of them having basically no use in PvE combat, but in Elden Ring's Convergence mod, these three have been given a much more useful role, which inclined me to see if it was possible to beat Elden Ring with only status effects. No physical damage, no elemental damage, just purely percentage based damage. This video is also the big finale in a seven part series I'm doing, where I use the spell classes associated with each of the status effects. So go check out those videos after this one to see how amazing each of these classes are and subscribe so don't miss out on any future videos. We are going to choose a specific one that we've already done that works best, which is the Servant of Rot. We start off with Poison Mist. So that's already poison done and out of the way. And also the Poison build does spawn us close to the um, Rot Rune. So we can go grab that and get Rot Mist. There it goes. We do get Poison Mist. And then we're pretty much immediately just going to go grab Rotten Mist. There we go. Shimmering Rune of Rot. There we go. Rotten Mist. And we also get Death Blight from this um, run. The Necromancy run did have the Death Blight in it. But Servant of Rot class actually had a better Death Blight um, spell. And it just it hits an enemy and just causes continuous Death Blight built up on them. So we're going to be using that. Um, as for Frost, we need to go get the Coat Yourself in Frost. And now for Chaos to Strike again. As I discovered my muted desktop audio, oh my god, I forgot to fucking unmute, yep, I did. I then proceeded to mute my mic just 4 minutes later for 30 goddamn minutes. Luckily, I didn't do a whole lot in that 30 minutes. As I just said, I wanted to get the Frost Spell, which you received from Rani after giving her the Finger Slayer Blade. So I headed to Karia Manor and checked to see if Loretta could be poisoned or rotted, which she could not. But then I remembered from the frost run that she can be frosted. So I took the Erd trees to the consecrated snowfield to grab rhyme crystal buds to craft frost bots, only to discover that these also do a bit of magic damage. I then thought I would use the freezing mist ash of war, which is dropped from a scarab, after Loretta. So I said screw it, and used the pots to frost Loretta over and over again till she died, so I could progress the run. I then headed down to Nokron to get access to the finger slayer blade. Alright, so once again for Mimic Tear, he's absolutely terrifying on Convergence, so we're going to actually just unequip the seal for this fight, because uh, he's too scary. He's far too scary to try and deal with this normally. Is that not both of them? Oh, both of them probably proc at the same time, wouldn't they? Alright, now we just have to wait. Yeah, it's doing a, a lot of damage. Surely that's enough to kill him, right? Yes, it is. I actually get the remnants, and they're kind of just useless on this run. I don't, I don't do damage. I can't even really think of what talismans I should be using on this run. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's one that reduces the cost of spells, like the FP cost. So that would be nice, I guess. If we're using Nihil, that's definitely gonna be nice because Nihil uses like, like a hundred FP or something ridiculous. Like it uses a lot of FP. I like to grab this for some um, stealth. There you go, Midnight Dagger. So I wanted to use this because this dagger actually comes pre-equipped with uh, Assassin's Gambit. There we go. Armor of Rhyme, there we go. That's the spell we're looking for. Uh, let's go grab the staff, the starting staff for the Frost class. And then how about we fight Margaret and Godric? I think now that we have all this stuff, we can probably go fight Margaret and Godric. Then one of these, we should get the staff. I think it's this one. Yep, there we go. And we can use it, yes. All right, well, we have Frost, Poison, and Rot. That's quite a lot. All right, let's go kill Margaret. And now we just wait. I tell you what would be nice to get. The Old Lord's Talisman. Extend my spell duration for Armor of Rhyme. Oh yeah, we are doing a lot of damage. There goes a second Frost. He's probably going to lose his poison in a second. It's still double ticking. Alright, if Frost is worn off, we just walk in and die. <laughs> Frost me, buddy. Come on, you can do it. Come on, you can do it. There we go. This was genuinely more effective than most builds I've used so far. That actually killed him so quickly. <laughs> that was impressive, I have to admit. That killed him very quickly. 
All right, so we want to upgrade a little bit of int so we can actually use armor of rhyme without using the physic. All right, hold on. We can now use the armor of rhyme. Let's go fight Godric with it. Wrong button. All right, he's poisoned and rotted. And now we just have to wait. Try and get the next frost off. There it goes. Wait, is he ever going to phase transition? Maybe when I frost him next. Because he doesn't... He only phase transition on a poise. So if you could parry him, a parry would send him over. We can technically just do this whole fight without him ever entering phase two, which is probably a good idea. You know what? I'm just curious. Surely this sends him over. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah, the problem with phase two is he just has a couple of attacks that are kind of just dumb. Which is why I was kind of wary of actually phase transitioning him. And that should be Godric. Uh, this attack. This is why I didn't want to transition him to phase two. Because he has this stupid attack. This is really efficient at killing things. <laughs> I think we go for Death Blight now. Maybe. I mean, we could just do Mog, honestly. Like, I can't imagine Death Blight is going to do too much with Mog's fight. Because the only thing we'll use Death Blight for is really to get Frost off more efficiently. If we want to use Bleed, Bleed was Arcane and Faith. Like, if we want to use Nihil, we'll probably just need to upgrade Faith and Arcane. Yeah, Death Blight isn't going to really help on Mog's fight. So I think, honestly, maybe we just do Mog. After we've gotten Mog, I want to go, like, get a few Talismans. We'll go kill some bosses for some Talismans. Because I would like to have, you know, less FP um, consumption. Mainly, specifically for Nihil. Because Nihil is really useful if it doesn't use as much FP. It's still going to consume pretty much my entire stamina bar, which is unfortunate. But obviously there's nothing I can really do about that. Before we do Mog, go kill a boss just so we can activate the Great Rune. Or we'll just go kill like a Erd Tree Avatar or just something simple. And... Dead. There's Godric's Great Rune activated. Alright, let's go back to Mog. You know what? Before we do Mog... Let's go kill Red Dog so I can get another Enchanted Remnant so I can get the Golden Scarab. And Frost. <laughs> oh, he didn't even Frost. There we go, Enchanted Remnant. It's such a random talisman layout. Yeah, let's go fight Mog at like level like, what, 30? Level 34. Let's go fight Mog at level 34 with the Golden Scarab and FP Regeneration Talismans equipped. Come here, buddy. Okay, he's not going into the mist for some reason. Alright, we got it. I was far enough away for that. See, I'm not going to lie. This is where fire damage could be nice to prop frost more quicker but it's fine we're still doing ridiculous amounts of damage one more frost and he should be at unos surely that's it now yeah Oh, damn it, really? What the fuck just- <laughs> We did the fight for the most part hitless. There we go. Make sure the Golden Sky is actually turned on. That should give us like 600,000 runes, I think. 550. That's still excellent. Plot. Plus, the Remembrance is pretty much 600k. Alright, well, now we have the final thing I wanted. Or, well, I guess, the, ne the next status effect. There we go. We've gotten a hill now. At least, well, we need this. How much is that? 38 Faith, 38 Arcane. That should be all we need, right? Our armor should give us enough. Oh, yeah. Our armor definitely gives us enough. There was an armor set I'm pretty sure gave us 10 Faith and 10 Arcane. And I think it might have been this one down here. Faith and Arcane by one. I mean, they still so increases. Just gives us HP regen. So we might as well use it. We've gotten Hill now. That's like the next big thing. How about we do a couple bosses with this build then? This should work very well. How about we do... We'll do Mo uh, Mog. We'll do Rykard. 
Nope. Still wrong. We'll do Radan. Radan will be very, very easy. All right, so this fight shouldn't be too bad. Oh, my four, my poor computer. Oh, my frames. Can he not be bled? Oh my god, the combos are insane. Uh-oh. I've used more meds than I would have liked to on this fight. Hmm. Maybe he can't be bled. Yeah, I imagine we're going to be getting to like, like 50 or 60 mind in this run. So we have pretty much all the faith and arcane I need. We just need, you know, a tiny bit more health and... Alright, so I... We... I have an issue. I want to use the the bleed thing, right? The, the, the um, legendary buff for the blood flame. The problem is, is you can't actually stack legendary buffs. Which means if I wanted to use the frost one, it's separate. If I wanted to use that, like that frost one that gives me tons and tons of FP per second, I can't use it with in, con in conjunction with the blood flame. Also means the legendary buff for um, madness incantations is actually the one that we want to use. Like we have to use it to do madness without doing any damage. Like madness buildups nearby enemies. So looks like we're not going to be using either of those. And we might as well go grab that um, legendary buff after Radan's fight. It's going to take a second, but... At least we have madness built up then. And that's a toggle, so we don't even have to think about it. I should give myself more FP. Oh, sorry, more blue flask, just so I can... His status effects continue once he comes down, right? Oh, yeah. Get him frosted again. At least we get to do some pretty fancy dodges in this run. It's kind of fun just dodging these dudes in ways I never would normally do. Oh, he's not poisoned or rotted anymore. What the hell? You know, I have a really dumb idea. But I really want to try it. We'll wait for him to do the rock sling again, and then we'll try and pop the hill. That's what I want to try and do. Never fucking mind. All the fun gets ruined. I actually wanted to try something cool, but no, no, no. Frost's gonna come in and ruin the day. I wanted to pop him out of the air. That would have been so cool. Radan's dead, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's go do madness now. I want to get the madness status effect since we can just leave that on and that just procs randomly throughout a fight. It takes a second to do, but then we should also get death blight to make madness proc twice as fast constantly. All right, so for the madness, uh, we got to go to Weeping Peninsula. We're going to do some quest lines now. So let's go try that. We also need to get the fingerprint grape, whatever it's called. Or is it the other way around? We need to get the fingerprint grapes. So we need the Shibaru grape. All right, and then we kill her just by leaving the game. <laughs> She's dead. All right, we'll go to do the storm vow one first. Did I? No, this is it really, right? Yeah. He was so real for that. Oh, we so should have gotten... Wait, wait. Before we do that, I'll tell you what we should, should have gotten for this NPC fight. Death Blight. Uh, I don't remember where the orb is from. This one, right? Light of the Contagion. Lake of Rot. Whereabouts was that? It was down the bottom, wasn't it? Let's try Edgar again. Before Edgar invades us. Light of Contagion, that's what we're looking for. And he's dead. There we go. Oh my god, I saw something the other day about these dudes. Watch this.
Apparently when you poison them, they do this. They just explode. I'll be fine. Now I need to refresh the area. And then she tells us she's going to the prescription. I've gleaned, I'm certain now. Also, I realize we have to do the frenzied flame ending for this. <laughs> We can now go get the spell, so I guess we do Morgot. Well, yeah, we do Morgot, and we have to go kill Suamog as well, who can't be status affected. Uh, how the fuck are we going to fight him if we can't get Madness? Slight uh, issue. We can't really kill Suamog because he can't be status affected. Kind of do strat. We can't do Elden Beast full stop. If we can't get Madness, we can't do Elden Beast full stop. So here's the thing, right? There was, a, I'm, with the bug, with the um, Blood Flame Blade, we could use it with um, Black Flame Blade as well. But to do the bug, you need to get the madness incantation. Listen, I'm retarded enough to do that. I'm not a person saying no. I love Mog. He's my favorite boss in the game. So like, if that's what it comes down to. I'll do it. So let me explain this bug I have mentioned a couple times. This bug actually existed in main game through Fire's Deadly Sin. And I've already done an entire challenge run with this bug before. But to explain it simply, the incantation I was getting that builds up madness to nearby enemies also applies weapon buffs to nearby enemies. Meaning things like Blood Flame Blade will build up bleed. But this also means Black Flame Blade will deal only the percentage based part of the incantation. It won't deal any holy damage that the incantation normally has. Now this would be nice to have if the Madness incantation wasn't locked behind Suomog, so I decided to go do Seeger and Morgot first. Oh my god. Destroyed. Oh, okay. What just happened? What? what hit me? Oh my god. <laughs> there we go. That dude wasn't too bad. I mean, I I'm guessing most of the boss fights in this run are not going to be that bad. All right, so we want more mind. I want like 120, probably 130 mind so we can cast in a hill. I think we're just shy of casting a hill twice, right? Yeah, like, like literally one level short. For more God, I should probably start off with Death Blight on all of these because it makes things proc super easy. So I think we do the pre-buff, which is Armor of Rhyme. We hit with Death Blight and then do Frost and then do Poison and Rot. He's not frosting. Why is he not frosting? Yeah, I'm a ramp into a bug or something. He just wouldn't frost. There he goes. Give me my health back, boy. Oh, dear. <laughs> All right, now we have access to the madness area. And I guess we get, get to go check out how um, Sewer Mog's going to go. Yep, doesn't look like they've changed anything. Oh, that's rough. Oh yeah, let's skip the hassle. Suomog is immune to every status effect except madness, but that's what I was trying to get. But I did remember while editing this that Frenzy Flamestones do exist, but that seems to only work on NPCs. So to combat this, I did what any sane person would do and fought him for 15 minutes with my bare fists. I'm not gonna show you much of that, but if you wanted to see that, you can go watch my bare fist run where I fought real Mog for an hour and a half. There we go. All right, so he's dead in a very dumb way to die because we can't actually status affect him, but we can go grab the madness now.
Why is she not down here? Oh, because we haven't given the fucking... this one. And he's dead. Surely, right? That death lights him. Can he not be death lighted? Hmm. Maybe he can't be death lighted. Can he not be poisoned as well? Can he be frosted? Can he be bled? Is he immune to all status effects as well? Bro, what is wrong? Oh, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm gonna fucking kill myself with these fucking shitty ass NPCs. The seal now magically does a hundred times more damage. I don't know how, but it just does. Oh, I forgot how ugly we looked. Jesus Christ. There we go. Shabam. Heart of Chaos. We finally have it. What does it require? Oh shit. I was scared that was going to require int. I guess we could just kill Mog a couple times. There he goes. There he goes. So now we should be able to get to... We only need to get to 32, really. And then we also need another memory stone. <laughs> Alright, who do we fight? What boss do we actually do now? Let's do Renala because it's going to be quick. I have an idea. It's called poisoning, and then rotting, and then drinking, and then freezing. Does he still not know I'm here? Well, he's about to. Oh, we don't get a remnant from him. We need another. We need one of those shattered fragments. How do we get those? Where, where can we find one of those? I have a thing here. Is Black Knife one of the few bosses in the game that doesn't have a status effect as well? I think so. Which can be frosted. You watch it not even give me an alien remnant, okay, we got one. So now, I should be able to craft this. And then before a fight, we can just shuck on intelligence. And then we can cast it. Oh, but that reduces our FP. Oh, well, luckily we got more, because we can still definitely cast the hill twice with this at much FP. At least we get the Deathlight Moongrum. Beautiful. Uh... We can cast this, can't we, for this? <laughs> oh my god! What is happening? <laughs> is she rotted or poisoned or both? Well, she definitely is now. Arenala, wouldn't it be funny if I just kind of... Oh, there goes Madness. Do you see that big proc just go? I'm not going to be able to get it off, am I? These dogs are way too cringe. Yeah, Madness is like 12% of their HP or something. It's the strongest proc in the game. Well, there you go. That's Renala. That was very chaotic, especially the, the first Nihil in phase one. <laughs> Nearly crashed my computer, I'm pretty sure. We were borderline battered blue screen. All right, that's Renala dead. Another remembrance. Who do we do now? Rykard? 
Go to Rikard. We can use Black Flame Blade. I have no idea where to get it from, to be fair. Yeah, we should test that. We'll go into a different save. Because they've changed Black Flame in this. It's not like what, the way it works in normal game. So how much damage does this do per tick? So it does 51 per tick. Ritual Sword Talisman. 51 per tick. What if we just equip everything? Magic. Fire. 51 per tick. Physical. 51 per tick. Okay. And then if we frost you... Does it remove the frost bite? No. So it's a status effect. Doesn't do damage. I'm gonna use it. I have to fucking have no clue where to get it from though. Wait, how far is it into the spells? Okay, so it's in it's in starting class spells, I think. Where would it start? Okay, so it's just in that new area. There we go. And technically we can get Blood Flame Blade now as well. Because Nihil technically does fire damage, but if we wanted to make the run more valid, I would stop using Nihil right now. So do we do that or not? But like, like, come on, how do you say no to this shit? And we can also use the last status effect that we haven't used yet. Bam. Optimal build. There goes Madness. And there he goes. <laughs> so you fight the God Skin Noble. Yeah, we want more of that, don't we? Because we are uh, severely missing out on some FP. Our endurance bar is also quite small, I must admit. It seems to get, I don't know why, but it just seem, looks like it gets progressively smaller as we go on. <laughs> Smack him with Death Blight. Poison. Give him my health back and stagger him. Put this on the side. Frost him again. Bleed him. Frost him. Bleed him. Kill him. How about we mix things up a bit? I can't. The camera doesn't let me look up. Frost him. Bleed him. Frost him. Bleed him. Sleep him. Bleed him. Frost him. Bleed him. Oh my god. We just used all status effects on Rikard. That was sweet. It felt so logical. I'm like, okay, he's gonna do some cringe stuff. Sleep him. And he frosts so easily, so he just like died so quickly. How about we do Fire Giant and we'll leave it there for today. All right, so hopefully we can do this pretty smoothly. Death Blight. Got poison off. There goes Frost. Stagger him. Alright, phase two. Hit him with Death Blight. Can 
Get that frost back. Sleep him. Never mind, he just died. I think the frost woke him up. Oh my god, we finally got the build going and it is just absolutely busted. Okay, so... Surely we can cast Nihil three times now. Perfect. Alright, we have enough FP. Now I can start leveling up, like, probably health a bit more. Maybe endurance and intelligence so we don't need this extra talisman. Well, I'm gonna leave it there for today. We've made some pretty good progress. We could get the continuous sleep build up and then pair that with the sleep pots that we have just to make things a little bit more of a smoother experience. Can you be slept? Yes, you can. I can cast it three times? I can only cast it four times? I was gonna say, he's still yet to have his starter on me. Burning Rune of Ancestors? I, I think this is the right one. Call the Slumber. Yep, that is it. Wait, we needed another Memory Stone. Yeah, if I can chuck on constant sleep build up for enemies, like, even though most bosses have insane resistances, it's still something. All right, there we go. Let's go to the deer. We actually have the grace. Where we do? Sweet. Okay, so what do we? We got poison on. Let's try and get rot on. Okay, why did the? All right. Yeah, come here. Oh, that goes madness. I don't think the deer can be slept. I'm not going to lie. Oh, we still have this, don't we? Oh, he's on the ground. <laughs> At least he can soak that one in. Actually, all hit runner. Soak it in, buddy. Soak it in. Oh, there goes Madness again. Oh shit, Madness just actually killed him. <laughs> all right, so I don't think the deer can be slept at all, <laughs> which doesn't surprise me. Uh, have we done Astel? We have. Uh, let's go do four to sacks. Just grab a Oh yeah, wait. Yeah, that's not in the fight, is it? Okay, wait, wait, wait. No, we haven't done Astel. We'll do Astel first. Oh. Jesus. <laughs> that was such a cool sound. Can we cast that three times? You have a sneaking suspicion Astal can't actually be slept, can he? Still doesn't seem to have any more health. 1600 HP. That seems normal, right? Now let's go to four sacks. <laughs> okay, I have a really dumb question, but he knows. <laughs> he knows. Ugh. <laughs> I 
I hate this boss so much. I'm dead. Well, there's $150,000 gone. Why did that one shot me and the other ones didn't? Does something give me resistances? Does one of the spells I use give me a resistant? Oh my god, I think sleep procced on him. Because sleep makes enemies do 20% less damage. What have we set up completely before the fight? I don't know if that actually procced him or not. But he's not poison or rotted. doesn't even give that much. <gasps> now everything's going to start getting frosted. This is how you fight Crucible Knight. Oh, there goes Madness. I have a feeling the Crucible Knight will probably Vigor check me, so we're just going to play this one safe. <laughs> Do you reckon Frost will activate him? No! Wait, he didn't try turning around. Okay. Oh. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that was... I didn't use Death Blight on that. That was nearly every single status effect in the game. Except for Bleed. So you can't Bleed Crystal Knights, unfortunately. Oh, you can actually rot the skeleton. He can't be bled. He can't be frosted. Like, what other things do we have? Can he be slept? There we go. Alright. Now we've got four attacks. Obviously, because we can somehow do it as I figured out the other day. We're going to hit our boy Death Blight. Poison and Rot. Why are you such a wanker? He didn't even get to phase two. Sorry, did that say 38,000 damage? Or was that 3,800 damage on my screen? How much health does he have? Surely that said 3,800. He doesn't have that much health, does he? Really? He actually has like 40k health. Why do they give him so much health? Well, we can get less vigor checked now. But we can definitely get endurance checked. All right, so now, uh, how about we do the Godskin Matriarch? See, I don't think the gold skin matriarch is going to be too bad because normally the problems occur in phase two, right? That's where the frames start dropping. That's where the issues start occurring with um, best and death. But she can never get to phase two if she gets status effect. So if I bleed her or frost her, she staggers out of it. Oh my god, the game. Great. Well, that's game over. We're not winning this fight. Yep, I told you. Wow, what a great fight. K 
Can she not be frosted? Why can't she be frosted? Or is it just the bug? There seems to be a bug with fog gates. I'm gonna try and recast this. Oh yeah, see, it's just a bug with fog gates. There you go. There's, there's, okay, so that's something I did notice. There's a bug with Armor of Rome where if you apply it before you enter through a fog gate, it doesn't seem to work properly. Or maybe it's on bosses that like pop into existence, it doesn't work. I don't know what it is, but I, I don't know. There's some bug with this um, spell because it, ha it's happened a couple times now on this run. All right, well, the Matriarch is dead. We can either do Melania or Faramajula. I think, I think we'll do Melania. Easy. What the fuck's happened to this thing? Madness. Frost. Blade. Huh. Just cancel her out of her attack. There we go. Easy as. Yeah, 264k. She gives quite a lot of runes. I always forget how much Loretta just actually gives. Oh, what do we level up? Fucking probably insurance. Yeah, let's go to Melania now. And so Melania is going to be a peculiar fight, I feel. So how do I want to do this? We'll frost ourselves. And then we'll hit it with Blighted Contagion. Although she's going to she's gonna frost very quickly. Blighted Contagion. Yep, so she's poisoned and rotted now. Hit it with sleep. Oh, we got the bug with the armor of rhyme. Yeah, so if I walk through the fog gate, it doesn't work, but now. She frosts, yep. <laughs> I was going to say, you're probably not going to finish this attack, are you? No, I don't think you will. <laughs> Wait, is she going to phase transition? Uh, she can't phase transition without a status, without a physical hit. But she's just cringe like that. Okay, I have to whack with the dagger. Could not have been better timed. Ooh. Oh, that was weird looking. Okay, you're poisoned. Now get rotted.
Alright, I think she's rotted now. Boom. There we go. That was a really smooth fight. It actually was like, <laughs> that was like a really cool fight. This is such a fun run. I mean, to be fair, every single run I've done so far in Convergence has been really fun. Just using all these things is like every single one of these status effects. We slept her so many times. We blighted her. Gave her poison and rot so quick thanks to blight. Armor, like poison, I mean, freeze and bleed and black flame and just, oh, it's so good. Okay, well, issue. The grace is bugged. That's fine. All right, uh, let's go to Farah Majula now. We go through our fella here who can't be... No, we're not going to go through him. He can't be status affected, so... We're going to go through the four Belfries. Starting location. Crumbling lands. All right, so we can either do Lanciax and Placidusax first, or we do um, Malekith first. I think we'll, we'll just... Because we're like, going to end up right in front of the boss fight, I think we just do Lanciax and Placidusax first. Where does the head normally land? Like, right here? I think that was madness. Was that frost going off? Oh, wait. Frost bugs. Okay, I need to stop using frost before I get into the arena. Yeah, there goes frost. I'm dead. There it goes. This is like, I think the reason that makes this run so fun is that I am actually using every single status effect. It's not like I'm just like using like two spells. Like it feels like on most of the class runs, by the end of the run, I have figured out what spells work and what spells don't. So I end up just using like three or four spells out of like the like seven spells I have equipped and out of like the 20 spells that I have available to me. But with the, these spells, right, I use all of them because I want to make the fight as quick as fast as possible. So I need to use all the status effects because it just makes the fight easier. And I'm using all of them and it's fun to use all these spells. It also helps that the spells are also quite powerful. <laughs> but apart from that, Placidusax does have a sleep meter. He doesn't have an animation, but he can be slept. But I don't know how useful that's actually going to be in this fight. How is this fight going to go? Are you going to try and leap towards me? How did I know? I did not even give him a chance to move. Holy crap. That's the second build so far in Convergence that has actually one cycled Plasutus Axe because of how big his HP bar is. I'm surprised Nihil didn't stagger him. Nihil does a lot of stance damage, but it still didn't stagger him. All right, well, <laughs> that was an amazing fight. Uh, let's go to Sierra now. So Sierra can be slept. It's like a weird effect where it just starts randomly attacking. Poison and rotted now. Yeah, so you can see just jumping around randomly. Yeah. So I'm guessing that's an, uh, what the lines do. Oh, 
Oh, there goes Madness. Beautiful. Died midair. <laughs> I don't even think we can level up after that, can we? Two times. Well, she managed to sleep like several times throughout that fight. I'm impressed. I'm honestly impressed how many times we got her to sleep. All right, so apply Frost. Black Flame Blade. Move a bit further in so I don't get knocked off the edge. Death Blight. Might as well get some sleep in there as well. Bad idea. Oh, there goes Madness. Try and get Poison and Rod off again. Oh my god! There goes Malakith. That was a very smooth fight, but it was also kind of sketchy when he uh, nearly killed me with the double swipe. <laughs> all right, well, I believe, let me make sure. Yep, all right, let's go to Fram let's go to Ashen Capital then. All right, so with Scarred, obviously I want to go Armor of Rhyme because he can't actually be frosted, but we're not going to be really doing much else. He can't be bled, so the heal's useless. He can be poisoned and rotted, I think. Damn it, I want to get that off. Is he like poisoned and rotted right now? Probably. He's taking a lot of damage. Okay, hit him with sleep. I don't know if he can actually be slept. Oh, he can. How about that? Okay, it looks like he lost poison and rot. It's fine. There we go. Yeah, that fight wasn't too bad. I mean, uh, it's what I guess. Just using poison and rot and black flame. I'm glad I picked up black flame, honestly. Even though it's not... It is a status effect, technically. It is percentage-based damage. It doesn't deal physical or elemental damage, so... I don't know what else you could classify it as. So Godfrey, can Godfrey be slept? I don't actually know. We'll start off with Armor of Rhyme though. Give him some of that sleep. Give him some of that poison. Oh, he totally can be slept. Already? Phase two. Nope. I don't know what to hit him with. Oh, there he goes. Give me some of my health back, buddy. Um, I forgot how to play the game, apparently. What are you doing? Oh, Jesus Christ. There he goes. There were very few circumstances in that where it was kind of tight and I was a bit scared. 
Radagon, well, he can be status effect with everything except Blade. So I think that's what we're going to go with. Obviously, we have to apply Frost as we figured out once we get in. I think I'll put on, I'll put on Black Flame right now. Just so I'm, I'm at least doing damage the second I get in. can't fucking see anything. Where is he? <laughs> He's taken quite a bit of damage already, though. I'm surprised. Alright, so I don't think he can be slept. Or at least it doesn't do any effect on him. There goes Frost again. Did Manus also go off? He seemed to have taken a lot of damage. Last time I looked, it was at 6,000, and now it's at 16,000. One more frost. There he goes. All right. Now, Elden Beast is the troubling part. We're going to have to hit Elden Beast with Death Blight so he can proc Madness faster. And then we're just using Black Flame. All right. So with Death Blight activated, he should get like proc with Madness a lot quicker. I mean, Black Flame's doing decent damage. There goes Madness. Massive proc there. I mean, we can try Sleep. I don't. He should be able to be slept, but it's not going to do anything. He should be able to get proc with Sleep, but he'll do less damage to us, which is, I guess, kind of nice. It's not a horrible thing. And then Madness lasts 20 seconds, so we can't actually proc him for 20 seconds after. I think that's Death Light running out. Oh, there goes another Madness. Here comes Elden Stars. At least Elden Stars isn't cringe now. Right, we should be able to proc Madness once more on him. I think one more Madness proc should actually kill him. <laughs> there we have it. Status effects only. God, this was such a fun run. <laughs> there it is. It's possible. In Convergence, you can actually do the entire run with status effects only. It's actually possible. All the 17 remembrances in less than seven hours. I don't know about you, that's pretty good. Okay, I think the biggest issue with this run is Nihil, because technically it's not status effect only, unfortunately. It is actually a tiny bit of fire damage. Now, it's not much. If you upgrade the seal and use the blood flame seal, it does do a bit more. Right now, with a, with a non-upgraded seal and a seal that's not a blood flame seal, it does like, like on weak enemies against fire, it does like 50 fire damage. And you probably noticed that throughout the run because Frost would have unprocked constantly. I use that tactic a lot. Rykard, Melania, I use it a lot to frost something, then using the hill to unfrost it. I use it on um, Placidus Axe. Like, it's definitely kind of altered the run a little bit, but not by much.